This is Playmobello, and this is the best ship, the best pirate ship that Playmobil has ever made. Number 3286 from the year 2000. Not just the size, it's the biggest ship that Playmobil has ever made. It has the coolest sails. It has less characters from other ships. It can have a total of eight cannons, eight actual working cannons. You see them down here? Not just that, but they have covers that you can close the little door. You push the cannons inside the ship and close the doors. It's four on this side and four on the other side. Very intricate. Look at the details here. Still has a metal anchor as well. It, it, it is the year 2000. And here it is the catalog. Look at the cannons. They put all the cannons in there. This door is closed. Then there's the uh, small Corsair ship. And then if you look down here, there's the Pirate Island, the uh, Pirate Lagoon. It's a little island. There are these two characters here, the fisherman and the captain. They're right here. Will be reviewed pretty much. There's the ship. Well, you see the ship right there. And then there's also this here. It's uh, set number 3939. The pirate crew. The ship comes with five pirate crew members. And then if you want, you can add this set here. And you add more crew to your pirate ship. This is from 2001. All of these here. And this, 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 and this is from 2000. So here is a comparison of the vintage ship. Here is the ship 3940 right next to it. You see... Just sideways, it's a lot larger. The sails are a lot larger too. Uh, increases the size there. They both have the same kind of sails. The triangle, sail, sail. I, I roll these so it's easier to see the size and all. And then the little square back here. You can see through the back here. It's pretty much larger. Look at that. It's taller, a little bit taller as well. The cabin is bigger. You will see when I open that up. Overall, it's a much, much larger ship. Right here in the front of the very top of the ship, there is this spotter spot where the guy can have a little... He can see if there's an island ahead or birds flying, which it would mean there is an island ahead. He also has a megaphone where he can scream. This ship has a pole with two spots for parrots. Look at that. You can put a parrot right there so the parrot flies with the ship a pirate flag a very large pirate flag on the other side here there's also a pole that has a spot for a parrot see right here a flag that shows a lion a black lion or it looks like a little bit like a dragon here is how it looks like if you get a pirate to climb up that pole and he can just be up there and looking around look at that it's not the only way that you can climb on that pole. You can use this rigging rope. It's made of plastic. And every one of these places can be used with the Playmobil hand. So you can be up here, 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 here. And then you climb all the way up here. Let's say a ship is approaching an enemy ship. So a pirate would hold on with his back arm here. And he would hold the hook with the other one. He will Rotate the hook and toss it. The hook then connects safely onto a part of the ship. He holds onto the rope and and jump inside. So this ship also comes with this one rope just for that, which I think is awesome. For example, this middle line here, it just hangs it in there and you can do whatever you want. Here is the pirate quarter where he drives the ship. It's the highest area of the ship that you can step on. Windows down here that goes to the pirate's cabin. Uh, rotate this one, rotates as well, back and forth. It's connected to this rigging. And then the ringing goes over here and ties up. Then there's this ringing here that ties up this mast, this uh, rope, and it goes, the hook goes right here. So there's one, two, three, four hooks. And then over here in the front, there's another hook. There's another hook right here, a smaller hook in here, and a hook that connects right here. These masts are connected by a little ball joint, so they rotate. The sail is, has a hole on it, and it plugs it into the side of here, which makes it doesn't look very nice. 
it's a way that Playmobil found so this hook won't destroy the sail. But if you use this uh, sail protector here, it won't destroy it anyway. So why not just have that done like that? The front here, the sail is then protected from any damage with these black brackets. And it goes all the way. It has on both sides. You see the back one as well. And it's also on this square here in the back. It has this awesome hook. It's back. I'm glad. Playmobil did not get rid of the cool little crane here. The crane works just like in the previous ships. My hand's gonna be a little bit on the way, but you push it up and down, and the crane goes up and down. There is a anchor and a anchor little wheel here that you can lower the anchor or bring it all the way up. There's a little hook for a lamp, a lantern. This is how you enter the ship. There's this little ladder. It's placeable anywhere. You can put here. You can move it up over here. Oh, too high. She fell. On the other side, it really doesn't matter. Inside, we have a little step that goes up there. These big masts, and they have a spot to hold on to. If you put your ship, for example, on the pool, it will move violently and the characters will just fall. So you hold onto the big poles in there. A bunch of accessories, the black chicken just fell down, unfortunately. There. And here is the compartment that you push it like this and release. And look at that. There are two spots for cannons right there. Let's rotate. And here is the spot for two more cannons. You see that? They have all of those treads on the floor so you can hold those cannons. And if you look outside here, that's the cannons right there. The ship only comes with two cannons. So you need to find golden cannons that sell separate. And then you have eight cannons in total. In here in the front is one of the coolest features of this ship. Look at that. This is the middle hole that has two cannons and this is the front area with with two more cannons you see them there one there and one there and they look like this this is the front cannon there's two there one there it doesn't have much space pretty much you can always remove the cannons and use it as a sleeping quarter do it over here let's close the cannon area here See, once you close, it becomes a floor where you can step on. Unfortunately, this part cannot be closed. Right there, it's a little stairway that goes down into the pirate cabin. This is how you remove the roof. Pirate cabin is where you sit down to have a meal or to drink your wine. And there is the cannon spot right here. See the cannon? There's the spot for the cannon and there's the spot for the second cannon on the other side. Unfortunately, if you put a cannon in here, that's the stairway right there. And the cannon would go right there, so it kind of blocks the pathway. This is the cannon right there. And this is where it appears out here. Look at that, the bed has a little uh, pillow and you can tell there's a nice padded mat in there as well. This ship has been re-released again. It's, uh, this one is from the year 2000, but it was re-released in the year 2011 under the number 5135. The model of the ship is the same. It has eight cannons. It has this little circle area here. It has this entryway that, it, you know, the same ship, just different sails and different color scheme. These are all the accessories that come with this set. There are a ton. This set sells for around $300 with the, all the accessories and completed. This part right here. This goes under the ship. It connects right there. And it's very heavy. It has a heavy metal inside. Completely protected by the plastic. And it keeps the boat floating properly on the pool or bathtub. Brown basket. A lamp. Three chickens. Two are white. One is black. The feet moves. Four little rats, a parrot, two little knives, this kind of knife, shovel, pickaxe, a little pole for fishing, two pirate shotguns, a cape that's like a little red netting, 
Two little pirate pistols, vintage style. Two pistols, new style. A musical instrument. A spoon. A megaphone. Little stair. Five swords. One is golden. Two is silver with the round holders. One is golden with a round holder. One is like a musketeer sword. You have the hats for each pirate. Look at the different kinds of hats you get. There's this for the black pirate. Then you have a bunch of fruits. Bananas, pineapple, I think these are apples. Watermelon, there's a big bag of grains maybe. Crate right here, a bucket, the chest right here. Unfortunately, it did not come with treasure. Another kind of basket, a big water bowl or maybe wine. The triangular little crates for the cannonballs. Two barrels, red barrels of course. Four glass cups, a tray, wine bottle, four characters with a little monkey, chimpanzee, and the cannons. Now I have, there are two kinds of golden cannons, all right? There's the very well golden cannon and the lesser golden cannon. Beware of that, the tone is different. The golden cannon we get with this ship is this. The hardcore, very bright golden cannon. It has a sword holder golden sword holder lady here has earrings golden earrings she has uh, golden wrist cuffs have red wrist cuffs this guy has some purple wrist cuffs that matches his uh, bow tie right there they're all removable this guy I kept him with the hook that's another item you got with this ship he has earrings and golden cuffs and that's pretty much it that is the set 3940 also sold as 3286 <laughs>